Yes, thanks for visiting. This is your reading for July 23rd to July 29th. And as I always say, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you would like to. I really appreciate everyone's comments and I try to um, I try to answer all of them if I can. Um, I do try my best, um, apart from trolls, of course. And yes, I have everything ready as usual, so I'll start your reading for lovely um, Aquarius people. The first card you have you passed is um, the Queen of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing rising above, rising above with this card. If you look at this um, queen, she's up in the clouds. She has her sword up in front of her. So she's up above everything. So this is about um, rising up and protecting yourself at the same time. Um, yeah, so this queen's up above everything. She's up in the clouds. She's also protecting herself um, with her sword, which is what I said. I know, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yes, yeah, something's made her want to be there. Something's made her want to rise above. So there's some problem or some issues, or there were, that she wanted to rise above, that you wanted to rise above. And um, yes, so there could have been um, a situation where people were creating some kind of drama, some kind of problems. And... Um, Yes, I'm actually seeing two specific people here. One person was in charge of this drama and the other one was like their sidekick. They were kind of following the other person. So usually in this situation, there's one ringleader and there's someone else who's kind of following. But, you know, you didn't want this drama or you didn't want to add to this drama. That's why you were kind of rising above it. So I'm seeing this um, silence. You weren't actually joining in, uh, but you were ready. You had this sword in front of you. So if things got worse, if, if any of these people came to you and caused you problems, you were prepared. You had your sword ready for whatever was coming. Um, yeah, so you weren't escalating things. You weren't adding to it. You weren't making it worse. But you were kind of sitting above all of this, looking down, watching what they were doing. You had your sword there and you were saying, right, I'm not going to join in on this. I'm above this. But if they come to me with this, I am ready. I have my sword. That's the kind of attitude you had at that time. So the next card you have your past is the High Priestess. So yes, you had this kind of knowing. This is what the High Priestess is. She has this kind of spiritual knowing. She has her intuition. She's very spiritual. She kind of sits there quietly. So it's the same thing again. And you knew, you knew these people were looking for attention, um, especially this main person involved. You weren't going to give them what they wanted. They wanted attention. They wanted to escalate the drama. They wanted to be it to be worse and crazy. Some people love this kind of thing. Um, look at how look at how serene this high priestess is. She's so serene. She just sits there, and it's like I know what I'm doing. I know what's going on, but I'm not saying anything. So the other thing I'm seeing with this is this drama might have been about someone trying to divide people because I'm seeing. Um, I'm just seeing someone trying to separate people, maybe this kind of divide and conquer kind of thing. Set up someone on one side and set someone up on another side and they're trying to kind of cause problem between them, problems between them. And you could see what was happening. You could see this, you're the high priestess. The high priestess can be about polarity as well, people being divided, people being um, on different sides and she's in the middle of this she's right in the middle of these two pillars so you're refusing to let these people or whoever this was separate you from someone else or put you into these divisions or groups or whatever this was you were just above this and you weren't going to be in shoved into these different groups they were trying to and they weren't and you weren't going to be involved in this people trying to divide people gossip about this person to you say oh this person's done this the other one's done that and going backwards and forwards trying to kind of divide you weren't involved in that you're quite um you're very serene like this high priestess you're just sitting there saying i'm above this rubbish i'm just going to sit here i'm going to let it happen but if anything happens to me if they come to me if they escalate it if they do anything to me personally, I'm ready. I'm waiting for them. The last card you have your past is the King of Cups. So yes, um, I hope this makes sense, but I'm seeing, um, again, I'm seeing someone wanting to separate people and um, whoever this was didn't want people to find out something. This person was, um, and they probably still are, they're very manipulative. They didn't want people to find out what they were doing. So they might have been gossiping, trying to divide people and all of this, and maybe they didn't want people to find out they were at the centre of this. 
it's usually what these kind of people do. They don't want to own up to anything that they're doing. So, you know, if you look at this king, his body's facing one direction, but his eyes are looking in the other direction. So he's kind of, uh, he's looking one way and he's facing the other way. So you don't kind of know. It's like he's looking on that side and on the other side at the same time. He's in the middle of these sides and he's kind of manipulating them. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, he didn't want to be found out. There's also kind of shiftiness in these eyes moving around. And um, your instincts knew. You were the high priestess. You weren't saying anything, but you were knowing what was going on. You knew. You were just sitting there kind of waiting for this to unfold and seeing what was going to happen. The first card you have here present is the Page of Swords. So again, I'm seeing similar to what I was seeing in the Queen of Swords. Uh, this page is up on a hill, he has his sword, he's above, every, above everyone, he's in the clouds and protecting himself, he's out there ready. And um, yes, I keep on seeing this person in the King of Cups, they might have even been a little bit paranoid. Um, usually people, when, when they're a bit sneaky and manipulative, they do become paranoid. They do judge others by themselves quite often. Um, when you find out people are cheating, suddenly they can say to you, um, Quite often this happens, they turn around and say, well, you could be cheating even if you're not. They try and turn what they're doing around on the other person. So, yeah, this is making them paranoid because they're like this, they're kind of manipulating people. But it's like they're imagining others are doing the same thing even if they're not. And that's what happens, that's the kind of karma that comes back on these kinds of people. So, if this resonates, um, you're being very, very wise, um, separating yourself from all of this but also being on guard, just in case. Rising above the drama, again, I'm seeing that again, but being ready, just in case, just in case. The next card you have your present is Judgment. So, yes, I'm seeing there could be some kind of a love situation in this Judgment card. I'm seeing, um, it could be a friendship, but I am seeing um, love, a love situation. Whoever this is, you do have a history with this person. You do have some kind of background uh, where there's been some kind of hurt going on in the past or something going on, the, on in the past. At this time, I'm seeing you might be coming to a place where you're going to be trying to meet in the middle. So you're having some kind of um, conversation. There's something going on between you. It might be, um, you might even have to have more than one conversation because there's a lot that needs to be said, I'm seeing. Uh, there's judging going on, there's accusations going on. Uh, I am seeing some backwards and forwards conversations going on. It might be that you're accusing them of something or you say, remember when you said that? That was terrible, you shouldn't have done that. And then they mirror you, they come back to you and they say, well, what about you? You did this. I'm seeing that kind of thing going on. I'm seeing a mirroring. If you look at this card, uh, the three people in the foreground are mirroring the three people in the background. So there's this mirroring backwards and forwards. You're saying something, they're saying something. So yes, the conversation's going back and forward, back and forward. Um, you are going to have this kind of thing going on, but it's going to be respectful, or it is a respectful conversation. Um, there's not yelling. There's no kind of yelling and screaming and throwing cups and jumping on the down. You're, you're kind of... You are talking about things that have happened and you are going backwards and forwards, but you are keeping it calm. You're not kind of yelling and screaming. I'm not seeing that. Um, you will resolve whatever this is at some time. There's going to be an ending to this. Um, the judgment card is all about, you know, this is going to be coming to an end. This is judgment. There's no going back. There's no um, moving forward. There's no changing. Uh, judgment is it. This is it. This is the end. On Judgment Day, that's the final day. So this is going to end some time for you and you're going to have some um, some kind of solution or some kind of um, ending to this. It's going to be peaceful. That's what I'm seeing. Um, but you might have to have a few more conversations before this happens, before you get this peace. Now, I'm not seeing whether you're going to actually come back together with this person and be with them in love again, or whether you're going to be some kind of just a friend with them, or whether you're going to be going your separate ways, but you are going to each find peace, and you're going to have an ending to this. The last card you have for your present is the Knight of Cups. So yes, this person in this judgment card, this love connection who you're having a conversation with, they're not going to want to resolve this quickly. They're going to want to keep on um, 
going on about this. This is going to be resolved eventually, um, but not at this time. They're not ready to resolve this yet. They're very hesitant to kind of um, come to the end of this. And they don't want to let their old problems go. They don't want to forgive or they don't want to kind of move forward and come to peace at this, at this time. They are going to in the future sometime, but at this time they're not ready to do that. So if you look at this knight, he's almost at the water's edge. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'll lift that up so you can see. So he's almost at the water's edge, but he's not quite ready to cross yet. He's not ready to kind of get to that resolution, to find that peace, to get to the other side. He's still kind of caught up in his emotions. That's why he's holding a cup. He's still feeling a bit um, sad. He's feeling a little bit hurt by everything. And he's still holding on to those emotions. So, you know, you will both find this place of peace eventually, but um, not at this time. Um, and yes, it might be separately, but I can't see that yet. It's going to be resolved somehow. The first card you have for your future is the Ace of Wands. So yes, I'm seeing more clouds, more clouds in this card. You're still rising above what's going on. You're rising above any stress, any drama, um, like this wand, like this hand is in the clouds or coming out of the clouds. And um, you're going to have some more energy at this time, a lot more energy. And I'm seeing you breaking out of an old situation. What I'm seeing is that the Ace of Wands is actually about um, energy, moving forward, rushing forward with things, power, all of that kind of thing. I'm actually seeing a situation where something's going to suddenly come out of nowhere for you. It's going to be a surprise for you. And it's going to kind of um, make you rush forward into a whole new situation in your life. It's like you're going to have a whole new set of circumstances, that's what I'm seeing. A big surprise is going to come and then you're going to completely change. You're going to, you're going to change your outlook, you're going to change what you want to do. Um, this is going to be for the better. And um, yes, this is very, very positive. This is a very positive change. You're going to rush forward and do something. You're going to take action on something. It's going to be very, very successful for you, whatever this is. But a surprise, there's going to be a surprise at the start of this. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing, um, yes, I'm seeing some family members around you. Might uh, They might be shocked by this. They might be shocked that you're in this whole new situation. There might even be some jealousy from them. But again, you're going to rise above any negativity. You're going to rise above any jealousy that happens to you. And um, yes, this could be a really life-changing situation. That's what I'm seeing, life-changing situation. It's going to shock you. It's going to shock um, people around you as well. The next card you have in your future is the Five of Cups. So yes, this is going to be a really good change. This is going to be a really positive change, a very positive change, a really, really amazing change. You're going to change your whole outlook. It's going to change everything for you. It's like you're going to see the world completely differently. But when you make this change, there are going to be some aspects of your old life that, you're, that they're not going to work with this new life. Um, you're going to have to leave some things behind and um, you're going to have to maybe even leave some people behind. I'm seeing um, there are a lot of emotions around this. There are some sad emotions around this as well. There are some sad decisions that you're going to have to make, I'm seeing. But um, if this resonates, don't let this sadness or these sad decisions decision stop you from moving forward. Um, this is a really big turning point. This is a really positive turning point for you. Um, if you look at the man in this card, his head's down and he's focusing on what he thinks he's lost. He's looking down. He's very, very sad. But um, if he lifted up his head, he'd see that there's a bridge and the bridge is crossing over to this beautiful castle. That's where you're headed. You're headed over this bridge to this amazing, beautiful castle. This man just has to lift up his head. He's focused on what he's going to miss. You are going to have to leave some people behind, I'm seeing. There is going to be some sadness, but um, look forwards more than backwards. Of course, when you're going to have to say goodbye to people, goodbye to things, you're going to have to focus on that, and it is going to be sad. But ultimately, focus on the future. That's where the positivity is. That's where this amazing change is. The last card you have in future is the Six of Cups. So yes, this card, um, I'm seeing this is probably about this person in the judgment card, this love situation. Um, this is this resolution, you're going to have to, you're going to come to this kind of resolution at this time. And um, you're both going to come um, to a time of, um, 
yes, I'm seeing peace. I'm seeing peace and happiness around this. Um, it might be that, yes, it might be that you come out of this as friends I'm seeing. Um, that doesn't mean that you won't ever get together with this person properly. If this is someone who you want to be together with um, as in a relationship, and you find yourself at this time being friends with them, that doesn't mean that you're always going to be friends with them. And also, you know, you're having this big um, problem with them. You're having a big, um, not a fight, but you're having a, a really difficult conversation with, with them where you're going backwards and forwards over some pretty bad things. This being friends and being at peace is a step up from that. And it's also a step up from where you were in your past before this, when you're going through this hurt, when you're doing these things to each other. This is a great step up. It's like each time you're stepping up. So it might be that you step up again and you become, um, you, you, you end up back in a relationship with them. I don't know. But, you know, each, each step is a step up. It might be that you want to stay friends with them. I don't know. But at this time, you are going to be friends. You are going to be peaceful. This is a very peaceful, very loving card, a very friendly card. So that's what I'm seeing happening. So Aquarius, I hope this resonated. I'm sorry if this was a bit jumbled. I was trying to articulate what I was saying. I know I was at some times um, in this reading. I didn't mean to be. Um, but yes, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone, as I always say. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you'd like to. And thank you so, so much for watching.